So, a new AI research for upscaling anime came out about a month ago, and I think it's time to find out again what's the best AI anime upscaling tool. So today I'll be comparing the newest Real Qian that's made specifically for anime against the Real ESR Gen anime model, ESR Gen anime model, Topaz 2D model, and Waifu 2X. For those of you who don't know what models are, you can think of the different types of AIs like Real ESR Gen, ESR Gen as different types of vehicles. And therefore, the models for the AIs are the tires to the vehicles. Some tires are made for roads, some are made for snow, and some are made for upscaling anime. For this video, I have collected the most popular or well-received AI models for each of the AIs, upscaling two anime openings for two times. Except for ESR GAN because it mostly runs with four times models, and compare them based on three criteria: cleanness, amount of artifacts, and bokeh effect handling. However, since it'll be really hard for you to tell the difference in the qualities of each model if I put the panels like this, especially if you are on your phone, I'll be uploading them individually onto my second channel which will be linked down in the description. For each of these results, I'll also be ranking each of them according to three of the criterias. Of course, this is only after I watch the results nearly infinite times in 10% slow-mo to pick some details that'll let you know which AI anime upscaler is the best in 2022. Starting with the cleanness criteria, I am mostly looking for clean edges on geometric objects or lines, and this Cowboy Bebop OP gives some really great test grounds, especially the part where there are a lot of texts running around the background. Starting at the bottom of the rankings, I put Waifu 2X on the 5th because of its lack of cleanness and clarity when compared to the 4th. Topaz. To be fair, the difference is pretty hard to spot, so this one is definitely a tough decision, and I think that'll be a future trend too between these two. Topaz is surprisingly less enhancing than I thought, especially when you put it against my third place real Qian, which is the newest AI research. The lines on the planes are cleaner on Qian than Topaz, and this is the same when it comes to other patterns like the gunfire if you pause at the right frame. As for the second place, ESR Gen, it outperforms Qian with a better clarity around the text at the starting part, and to be honest, it's just so much easier to read the text in the background. And in the first place, real ESR Gen, its upscaled smoothness around the edges and text fits the simple style of older anime like Cowboy Bebop much better, and clears up a lot of messy dots that have otherwise been left by other upscaling AIs. Winning the crown of upscaling in the cleanest criteria, and this is the rankings I've come up with at the end. Moving on, the artifacts criteria is mainly for upscaler that makes a decent amount of difference to the original, and it's obvious that if the AI doesn't make much effort to upscale, there won't be much difference. So it doesn't really make sense to rank Waifu 2X or Topaz high since they didn't really risk anything to achieve better quality. I would instead choose to disqualify them here in this section. So jumping into the third place, we have Real ESR Gen coming in strong with overly saturated results when you compare it to the original and i feel like my eyes will kind of bleed if i look at this for too long and its incredible smoothness is what makes it clean yet its results are prone to be damaged by artifacts the text is also a perfect place to pick out any artifacts since in the original the blurriness and the anti-aliasing makes it complicated to be cleaned up and since real esr gen has a high strength in upscaling cleaning it makes it easier to create weird shapes or overly wobbly lines so this overly simplifying method is also a double-edged sword moving on to our second place real q gen when you put Real Qian next to third place Real ESR Gen, Real Qian really shows much more normalized colors and is overall less intensive and less upscale strength, which is a good thing because this will then create less artifacts. But ESR Gen is in the first place because of its main focus on being pixel perfect and not smoothing. This definitely resulted in less weird artifacts and supports good clarity while maintaining a high quality when it comes to detailed anime scenes. So the winner of the the artifact section is ESR Gen, and the ranking is as follows. 
Over to the last criteria, handling the bokeh effect. This is where I have to take into account the fact that waifu 2x doesn't upscale as much. I struggled a little in figuring out the right way to mark this criteria and I decided to also value the consistency of not screwing up the bokeh effect. So in the fifth place, I have to give it to ESR again. Performs the worst out of the others whenever there are any slight blurs, especially when you look at the Cowboy Bebop starting titles here. It handles blurs very poorly and cannot stop and blurring things like seriously and in fourth place we have kugen it totally felt the uh, well let's just call this the ding test but it does recover fairly well on every other scene that contains blurring so i feel a bit swayed putting it in the fourth since it's not actually that terrible and in the third place we have topaz Topaz the Ding test passed minimally, you can still see a slight difference, but it remains in an understandable range. But in the second place, real ESR Gen takes the crown in performing minimum damage to our newly formed benchmark, the Ding test. The quality is exceptional, only with some realistic details way too smoothed out, which we'll get to later in the conclusion. So in the first place for handling the bokeh effect goes to Waifu2x. This is because Waifu 2x did zero damage to any bokeh effect. It is the most consistent of them all, that is, Waifu 2x deserves to be placed first, even though the upscaling effort is not as obvious as others, and the ranking would be as follows. So to wrap up all this information for you and compile which AI is really the best at what specific jobs, starting with ESR again, it's the slowest of them all, with a staggering runtime of 0.15 FPS. It is super good at upscaling details, scenes, or artworks though. So it's perfect for anime such as Unlimited Blade Works, where detailed particle effects are heavily involved and have actual nice grass. It produces top-notch clarity after upscaling, but keep in mind that it's doing 4 times instead of 2 times upscale compared to the others. And this might have an effect on the runtime and the quality. Real ESR Gen is very slow but 3 times faster than ESR Gen. It's good at simpler animation style, shows like Cowboy Bebop or Ranking of Kings can be perfect playground for real ESR Gen to do some big things. It's probably the best at handling bokeh effect too since it actually puts effort into upscaling and the only downside is it's prone to generate artifacts if you don't choose the right input video. Real Qian is straight up the fastest of them all, with a crazy speed of 4.5 fps processing time, and is decent at both detailed or simple animation style. So it's basically like a middle ground between real ESR Gen and ESR Gen. Still occasional problems with the bokeh effect though, so just have to keep that in mind. Topaz can sit down because it's not free, and Waifu 2x unfortunately has less upscale strength than Topaz and the least out of everyone, but it always stays consistent under all circumstances while being decently fast at 3 fps processing time. So yeah, everyone loves a consistent waifu, right? To conclude, it's important to keep in mind that all these AIs require models, and sometimes good models really can bring a whole AI to the next new level. Like there's a huge ESR GAN model training community where you can browse all these models specifically for your usage, and this is definitely the reason why ESR GAN has one of the highest quality results out of the other AIs. But the quality of these AIs will easily fluctuate in the future, so maybe we'll be back soon for another upscaling video. If you want to learn how to install all these, I uh, don't want to make an installation tutorial for every one of them, but I'll link an all-in-one tutorial down in the description where you can install everything at the same time and have everything together with a simple docker. And it's also the current fastest way to run these AIs, so I'll link my tutorial about that here. And this video is brought to you by Yours App. Yours App is an all-in-one app that focuses on providing you with amazing self-care content, ranging from meditation, breathing clocks, psychological advice, music for relaxation, yoga, and many more. What I think is great about Yours App is their ever-expanding library of sound, especially their sleep collection where you can find a lot of soothing ambient sound in their really chill lo-fi music. Or if you are into ASMR, they do have a bunch of nice object ASMR that can satisfy your eardrum. Yours App is a self-care app created by thousands of well-being experts and approved by trusted organizations such as National Health Service in the UK. It's also by far one of the best options out of other self-care apps and has the cheapest annual premium subscription 
description too. With content being super inclusive, providing different age, gender, and pre or postnatal mother's quality guidance throughout their self-care journey, and even providing tips on the latest situation like the certain event that I cannot name, which has hindered us for the past two years. So get started at yoursapp.com slash buycloud to get a huge 60% discount from the yearly Yoursapp subscription using the discount code buycloud to start or enhance your self-caring journey today. And lastly, thank you for watching. A big shout out to Andrew, Panther Modern, and many other Patreons and members that support my work through Patreon and YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord too. Follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.